Hi. Hi, how are you? Okay, how are you? I'm good. Yeah? Okay. You know, the students don't realize that some of the tutors are working because they really need the money to live on. You know, especially the young tutors who are living in um, some of the countries where the cost of living is low. That's all they're living on is what Cambly pays them. So when students don't show up, they don't get paid. So it's, it's not very nice to do something like that because they don't show up and nobody else can book at the same time. Other people like myself, I'm working to give myself something to do. I mean, the money is nice, but it's not that much money. But what Cambly pays, you could not live on in Canada or the United States. Oh, yeah. yeah. Although in the United States, the minimum wage in some states is $7 an hour. I don't know how somebody can live on $7 an hour. That's one of the tutors wrote. She says she'd rather work on Cambly. Because she says if she works in the job that she just quit, she was making $7 an hour, it cost her bus fare to go there. And it would, you know, you have to have clothes to wear to work, decent clothes to wear to work. Uh, she says it's it's easier and she makes more money working at Cambly. Now that's mm -hmm. pretty sad. In the United States, $7 an hour. Yeah, I, I, you know, I thought United States uh, is a developed country. It is yeah. a developed country, but there's a lot of very poor people there. You yeah. know, and every country it's like that. Mm -hmm. You know, the there's rich, there's middle class, and there's poor people in every country. Oh yeah. You know, and you know, United States is a very big country. Besides, there being poor people. In the cities, think of the people who live in the villages or who live in the mountains. You know, what their life is like. Not not very good. You know. And we probably have the same thing in Canada. I, I came across many beggars. They, they are white people. I in my opinion, you know, this is a white society. They they should first of all, they should treat white people well. But actually, not not this case, you know. If they didn't treat white people well, I'm an Asian guy. I don't think I have the opportunity to to lead a better life. No, yeah. that's not, that's not true. It has nothing to do with color in Canada. It doesn't matter what color they are. The beggars that you see are usually people who have psychiatric problems don't want to accept help from social services, which is paid for by the government. Some of them are, uh, you know, having uh, psychological problems. You know, uh, some of the beggars that they're, they're looking for, you know, in the, in the garbage can, searching something. For food. Can, uh, food, yeah, yeah. I don't think they are, they are silly or, or stupid. They're just looking for what they need. No. If you're going to look in a garbage can for food, yeah, you're looking for it because you are hungry. But there are places where they can get free food. There are places which are warm and provide them with a bed to sleep at night. They don't go there. They could get welfare checks from the government, but they don't apply for them. These are people usually with psychiatric problems. Okay. Okay. It's not that the government doesn't want to take care of them. They don't, they're afraid of the government. Social workers go over to them and they start to scream and they say, go away, go away. They're always trying to help these people. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, sometimes you have somebody who's homeless, but yet they go to the shelters for help because they're homeless, because they've just had a lot of bad luck and lost all their money, lost their job. But they will allow people to help them. But those who don't allow people to help them usually have psychiatric problems. And it doesn't matter what color you are. You know, if they have the psychological problem, they won't wear winter coat. They, they, actually, they, they're wearing the winter coat. I know that they can feel the cold. 
Of course, that has nothing to do with having psychiatric problems. That's physical problems. Okay. Psychiatric problems, they feel the cold. Okay. And it could be they have these vans, like cars, like trucks. You know what a van is? Yeah. Okay. They go around people on the street. A lot of them stay together. And in the van, they have warm clothes. They have foods. They have medicine. Um, they're usually nurses and social workers working in the van. Two or three of them go out together. One of my daughter's friends did this. And they would stop where they'd see a group of people and they would offer them. They'd say, look, hot coffee, a warm coat, have a sandwich. You know, they would try and get them to trust them. And they would keep coming back every night till the people learn to trust them. There's a certain way to talk to them, mm -mm. which these nurses and social workers are specially trained so that at least... They can give them they can give them some food they can give them a warm coat they give them a blanket mm -mm. you know um i don't know about in canada but in the united states they give them all cell phones so oh, that that's they can, good that's good yeah so they can phone for help if they need it mm -hmm. yeah they they try to help the people but have you ever heard of an expression you can lead a horse to water but you can't make it drink Lead, lead a horse to the water cannot make her oh yeah yeah that is the problem of the horse not the the person that's right that's right it's the same thing with these people so it doesn't matter what color there are and there are people who are out there trying to help them sometimes they accept a little bit and sometimes they don't even accept any okay yeah uh, I'm surprised Halifax has so many homeless. I, I would think that people... No, would not so many. You would meet some beggars in the mm -hmm. downtown. In the downtown, yeah. Do you see women also? Old women. One of them uh, is old woman. I, I remember, yeah. Yeah. And do you ever see children? No, no. That is sad. When you see children with their parents. Oh, yeah. That's really, that's really sad to see. You know, um, it has nothing to do with this country being developed or not. Actually, I don't think they are poor people. You know, they are homeless. They're lost souls. Yeah. Okay. I will see you tomorrow night. We're running out of time. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a good evening. Bye. Bye.